Hello! Greetings from cold Pelagonian castle. Now, last time I told you I'm gonna show you uh, easy peasy Pelagonium species. So, there they are. One of them, Pelagonium fulgidum, and, a, and another is Pelagonium gibbosum. I'm gonna show you them a bit closer. I, I will start with Pelagonium fulgidum. So, I have two clones of it. I have a red one, scarlet red, and another is salmon color. First one that I got was salmon. I was like very surprised. And then I ordered from other nursery and I got red one. And I found inf information when I was looking for information around web. I found that uh, these ones, salmon ones, could come true from seed. So if you have mother plant as this one, you uh, you can get seedlings that's gonna flower the same color. So we take it closer. Look at this is now that is um, flower buds, and look how nice and hairy they are. Most of plants are the kind of hairy stems or leaves, and leaf too is quite not very can't see it, but it is all soft and silky. Most of plants who have the kind of um, hairy hairs around, they are good. Uh, they can cope with very harsh environment, like very hot or very cold. And then let me show you uh, stems. That, as you see, you can see difference between new stem, what is green green, and brown old stem. In wild, they can reach until meter tall. They can grow t make meter tall. Uh, here, I won't let them grow so big. Maybe someday. I read that they even if there is uh, shrubs around and, and they could have a support they could go until two meters so it's actually semi shrub. Now nice isn't it? Uh, Plagonium fulgidum is one of parent plants for uh, a gorgeous hybrid Plagonium ardens other the parent was Plagonium lobatum. No. Oh, and yes, and I read that you can eat them leaves, but they smell funny, like parsley. I wouldn't eat them. Okay, and now this, this is Plagonium gibbosum. Funny, isn't it? Wild looking. Look at them. Uh, swollen joints. It's a funny uh, common name like arthritis pelagonium, but no, I wouldn't use gibbosum sounds better. So, and look, it's one of the pelagoniums who have yellow flowers, and this one is special. They are, they have go gorgeous, gorgeous scent at night time. They smells like hyacinth, something like that. Beautiful. Now, mine was asleep, it dropped all leaves, sometimes, it's not sometimes, but it's doing this, when it's too hot, or, or too, no, yeah, too hot, when it's too hot and too dry, just drop leaves and it's sitting there, all just these stems, funny uh, stems, left and you think it's dead, but then, weather get uh, colder and it's just taking up. So, um, inter interesting, look, leathery leaves. On, on there, and look what's there. These are little seedlings. This year's seedlings. I'm gonna leave them here. Yeah, it's actually seed quite nicely. I'm gonna leave them here, and we'll see what's gonna happen. And I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and talk with you soon. Goodbye!